Video games. Is there a direct correlation between video games, violent video games, and murderers? I believe the answer is yes. Peasant! You guys like LaCroix and or heads on plungers? <laughs> How about them both together? Because I've got them both together right here. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I did this. But today, ooh, two months ago or something, I uploaded a video called Dr. Phil 2000 IQ or something along those lines. I don't remember what it was exactly, but it was something like that. So it's only right that we once again do another Dr. Phil video. But today, as you can probably tell by the intro, is about violent video games. I don't think that just playing violent video games with guns will cause people to want guns. I, however, know how to shoot guns because, as I may have mentioned before, I was in, in the Boy Scouts. I'm an Eagle Scout. Have you seen my award? This is my award for Eagle Scout. So we shot guns in there, and uh, I've turned out fine, I think, so far. And I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm not that old yet, I guess. Do you guys remember a couple of years ago when Jimmy Kimmel did a thing about video games, but it was like why people watch them? And the, the v reviews or the ratings on that were awful. Well, that's what people are reacting to to Dr. Phil's video right now, as this one has much more dislikes than likes. I say we get into it. I say we start reviewing. I say we see why video games are the real enemy of the people. Dr. Phil review. Long gone are the days when children lay on their bedroom floors innocently playing games that look like this. Now, 97% of teens are playing video games that look like this. And an alarming number of them are becoming... Let me finish this sentence. Murderers. That's what you're going to say next, right, Dr. Phil? Addicted. So close, so close. That's like this close. Games where murdering men, women, and police officers is the whole objective. Now, many experts debate whether these games are making our children more aggressive, and in some instances... ...into, into murderers. I'm not going to listen to the experts opinions because they're often wrong all right the experts and and just because somebody goes and and commits a crime because of a violent video game doesn't mean that everybody is going to just because everybody who drives a car runs over a person doesn't mean that every but person who owns a car is going to run over a person it's nonsense. It's it's drawing conclusions from a bunch of different points that don't make any sense. All right, so this is like a 12-year-old kid who is out of control, and the parents are like, instead of taking away his Xbox, it's like limiting his time on the Xbox per day maybe, or even putting the time frame that you can use it. They're just going to Dr. Phil. They're like, please, we don't know how to parent. Please help us. So let's watch. Please, your God. Boy! You you think you hard. Here I come, this is my final time. You wasn't expecting this, boy! I hear your guns. Video games are my son's number one priority. Two things. First off, one, I don't think this chair, I don't think he bought for himself. But also, this speaker that's there in the background, this black one here, I have that speaker. In fact, that speaker is located another five feet to my right. Let, let me show you real quick. By the way, this is the setup. This is how I, I record my videos. But look at this. Look at this. I hold my scarves on it. It just holds my scarves. But look, look, it's identical to that guy's. That's cool. That's cool. Come to me immediately. I request back up immediately. The two games that he really likes to play the most are Grand Theft Auto and Fortnite. Oh, this kid plays Fork Knife. This kid plays fork knife. We can't let that happen. No, no, no. Pull the plug. Pull the plug on the kid. On the kid. On his life. Pull it. Because anybody who plays fork knife, the quality of their life is already shit. None of, none of those games are the gameplay that they've been showing as the footage of these violent video games. They haven't showed Grand Theft Auto V. They haven't showed fork knife. Right? These violent video games. These violent video games. Fortnite is not a violent video game. It sounds like your son's just an asshole. So... Fix that first before calling Dr. Phil next time, right? The number of kills because the more kills you have. Right after, right after! Right after I said that, they show the stock footage of a game that's neither of the games that she's mentioned. His favorite game right now is Grand Theft Auto. Double barrel, bitch! It is very violent. They rob, shoot, kill, beat. Let's empty out this 
and everything they do is demeaning to women. Okay, uh, no! GTA is a mission-based thing. It is also an open-world game, so you can do whatever you want. So if you don't want him going into strip clubs, maybe, uh, don't buy him a mature game! It says Emma the Box for a reason, you dumbass, alright? You're not supposed to buy it for, what, 12-year-old son? Your 12-year-old son? Okay, I had GTA San Andreas when I was 12, but this kid clearly cannot handle it. He should not have it, alright? So whose fault is that for buying him that game? Not his. So he has a chair that's probably about $100. He's got an Xbox, probably another $300. And he's got Grand Theft Auto, which is like a $40 to $60 game, depending on if you get it on sale or not. So who's buying him all this stuff? There's no way he's mowing enough lawns or saving enough pennies to buy it himself, woman. Why? Why is it his fault that you're an idiot? All right, I get it that, that he he's, has an issue with video games. If he has an issue... Don't let him play video games! It's as simple as that! I don't... I am scared that he will take the behaviors that he's learned in the game and retaliate. He could become another school shooter. Sounds like you should pull him away from video games. If you, if you think he's gonna capable enough to be a school shooter, pull away the games! God! Parenting 101 and you're like, I'm gonna call Dr. Phil. Yeah, I'm gonna call Dr. Phil. This is my baby, my prized possession. I love video gaming. Every day I get home, I don't want to sound like I'm a future serial killer, but it's fun. <laughs> like when you like drive a minivan through a crowd of people. Exactly. Okay, this kid gets it, all right? At, in video games, you can do stuff that you can't do in the real world. And that's why a lot of people like it. It's a sweet release from stuff that you can't do, stuff that you shouldn't do, stuff that normally would be considered illegal if you did it for real, so you do it in a video game and everything's okay. No, he's a serial killer, guys. He's a serial killer. We have to treat him as such. He's a serial killer. Dr. Phil, please help. It's being marketed to our kids. There's not just one console. There's the iPhone, the iPad, the computer, the Xbox. So they're allowed. She just said that an iPhone and an iPad were a gaming console. The only thing that in there that was actually a gaming console is the Xbox. All right, the computer is not a gaming console. A PC, a gaming PC, sure. Maybe in many clip games on any other generic PC, but you definitely need a gaming PC for that to be considered a console, right? I'm not gonna play Sea of Thieves on a Chromebook. It's just not gonna happen. If you look at how many billions of dollars are spent on movie tickets and compare that to how many billions of dollars are spent on gaming, it's hugely different. Of course it's, when a game costs $60 and a movie ticket costs eight, it's gonna be different. And also, there's a plethora of video games. If you don't like a certain type of game, you can find one that you like. You can find one that fits your niche. If you don't like violent video games, they have games to be a cook. To, if you wanna be a cook, a cook for God's sake. You can, there's a game for that. Do that, you become a cook, all right? You're in a cooking game. You pay $5 for that. That's marketing into the price that he's spewing out. So yeah, it's not gonna cost the same. It's gonna be miles of difference when a movie ticket is eight dollars, a game is between five and sixty. Why do you do this, Dr. Phil? Why do you make? Oh God, I I can't stay mad at you, but come on. To me, as a parent, for sure, with two boys who are nine and ten years old, and I think really for all parents to just be very aware of what we're up against. We are up against. What are we up against? We are up against our kids. We are up against horrible parenting that we are involved in. Why are people so stupid? Why are parents so bad at being parents? If your kids are violent with video games, take it away. You have those capabilities. You have those capabilities. Why Why do you? Why do you, why do you have to go and Dr. Phil? Why do you have to do these things? I just don't get it. I don't understand. And the game changed when they started adding the social component, right? Yes. Because now they're not just by themselves. They're interacting with other people. And That's there the are best predators part that of get the on game. those video games. Oh, not the predator part. I, I don't agree with that. This kid doesn't know how to handle video games, and it's ruining it for the rest of us. So that's a, the moral of the story, right? Right. Yeah, we agree. We're in agreement that the, um, the video game culture is... Uh, Dr. Phil is really doing a number on it. He's really helping. He's really helping out the world with with this this one. This one is uh, definitely uh, it's one for the books, one for the top, right? Right. Yeah. We're all in agreement here. You want me to close up the video? All right. I'm more just upset with the way they portrayed this. This kid is ruining it for the rest of us. All right. We can all agree with that. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Graf. It's been real. Peace.